short market club in the mother city is a second generation success story. Chef Wesley Randalls and manager Simon Widdison opened the venue with the backing of two people they've worked for over the last 10 years. Renowned restaurateurs Luke and Sandaline Dale Roberts. The delightfully quirky design was all Sandaline. What inspired the whole feel and the look of the Short Market Club? First of all, we wanted something kind of luxurious, smoky, old-fashioned, um, kind of like an old English library cigar bar. So that was kind of the starting point. You created all the distinctive decor elements. What was the idea behind them? I did. I know, I can't believe it myself. I look at them and go, oh wow, I made that. Um, yes, I started with a chair, you basically use a school chair, and then I thought, oh, it would be quite nice to have um, leather-covered tops, because tops are always so hard, and you know, I'm so tired of either a cloth or nothing everywhere, so I decided the leather, and then I thought about the brass, so I brought all of that together, and yeah, it kind of worked. I just see what I love, and I use it, and kind of feel a space. Like the dining room of an old cruise ship, there's a sense of occasion here. The centerpiece is this wall of framed paper butterflies, conceptualized by artist Mark Rotenbach. Mark, what an incredible installation. But not only is it beautiful to look at, it's also something that's steeped in personal history for the owners. The paper, the actual material I've used, comes from the restaurant, things like log sheets, shopping lists, photographs. So all this paper, all the material that I've used has personal meaning and is intimately linked to the people who belong to this place. How long did the actual creation process take from conceptualization to actually creating this? It took me four months. The first thing was to get a background, which is a, a gradation of, of color, which is the blue to the pink. And behind that was um, the idea to create a scene, almost as though you're looking through this, through into windows, and there's like a sunrise or a sunset. I think the part which is least seen is the, the laying of the, the paper onto these fine threads, which is sewing cotton, which was really laborious because each thing's placed with tweezers. Usually with entomological installations, you'll see that the butterflies are pinned with these little pins, but here you've actually used them as decorative elements. The pins I've just used as little accents, almost like little jewels to make a little bit of sparkle here and there. But the suspension pulls them away from the background, which then allows beautiful shadows to be cast. So you've got a lovely sense of three dimension and depth. This atmospheric braai barbecue is a favorite element of Chef Wesley Randall's open kitchen. Wesley, what part did you play in creating the concept behind the Short Market Club? Uh, my part was purely based on the food and creating a design of food that would work in sandy in space. It was, had to be a natural organic progression of creativity in order to, to make the food match the space, not be created from outside and brought in. And how did you change around the menu to come up with the best dishes? The dishes stood out themselves and that came down to the pure sourcing of the ingredient. We took on the ethos of respecting the product as a whole and not manipulating it in any other way than just keeping it true to itself and that would be the hero item on the plate. The salmon is served with smouldering flair. Yet another reason food blogger Carmeny Pather approves. I follow you on Instagram, so I know you're quite a fan of the Short Market Club. What is it about this restaurant that you enjoy? But I think the fact that it is a premium and it feels like an occasion type of space, but it's also very relaxed. I like the way the combination of food flavors and it takes you to different parts of the world. I'm a huge fan of the Short Market Club. All right, guys, what we have here is a uh, petit poisson and your porchetta. The petit poisson comes from Elgin. Um, it's been stuffed with uh, chestnuts, fein boss, uh, lemon, and it's been slow roasted over the fire. So your porchetta is slow roasted uh, just over the fire, and it's just cooked enough so you have 360 degrees of crackling. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your meal. I cannot wait to taste this. The theatrical feinboss element of the chicken dish makes it an obvious highlight for Carmeny's blog. An accomplished foodie, she also knows good crackling when she sees it. After winning a reality TV show, Carmeny hosted food and travel series Girl Eat World, where she took in the cuisine of 10 countries. But this cooking makes it hard to leave home again. This chicken really is one of the most incredible dishes I've eaten. Usually one thinks of chicken as a very simple dish, but somehow he's managed to use all these complex flavors and not let one overwhelm the other. So, really enjoying it. 
This pork is cooked beautifully. You've got the contrast of the crackling, which is really crisp, and then the pork has been rendered down, so you've got that luxurious fat as well. Really beautiful. All right, guys, and to finish off, uh, we're going to do a lemon tart and a rhubarb creme catalan. So it looks like lemon tart, but it's got a lemon geranium infused in the crust. It's an brulee, and it's served with a strawberry and a marcy ice cream. The rhubarb catalan, it's got mascarpone in the base and then a set. And to finish it off, we've got a bit of a rose petal and ginger meringue. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Well, what did I tell you? Is this not the most exquisite restaurant? Indeed, and a visual and taste expedition of note. I think my, my culinary frequent flyer miles are sitting right up here. <laughs> Destination, happy place. Indeed. Carmony aims to visit and taste something from every country in the world. She'll have to if she wants to find anything close to this.